Hello and welcome to bowl season everybody. Today we've got the Southern Utah Thunderbirds taking on the UNLV Rebels. They're 6-5 and five on the year. Southern Utah is 6-6. Six and six. The Rebels on a six game winning streak right now. And this is essentially a home game as it is the Las Vegas Bowl. We went ahead and did a pick em in the Discord community during the week. And you guys have actually selected Southern Utah to win this ball game. Now, out of the three people that picked UNLV, we got Chris Numa, Link, and Alexander Connor. They think UNLV will win this matchup. Southern Utah got 16 votes, and UNLV only had three. So, overwhelmingly, you guys think the Thunderbirds are going to win this game. And I was actually really shocked to see the votes like that because Southern Utah has really struggled this season. The quarterback doesn't have 2,000 yards passing. And, I mean, the pass game has just been atrocious all season. Their running backs can't hold on to the football. Their receivers can't hold on to passes. It's been, it's been pretty rough for them. So, <laughs> I was pretty shocked to see you guys overwhelmingly select Southern Utah to win this ballgame. Well, let's take a look at the UNLV Rebels uh, schedule. They lost the first five games of the season. They were all pretty close games, except for the loss to South Dakota State, 35-14. Other than that and the Nevada game, every single loss was a one-score game. Then they went on a tear and won six straight, almost winning the Mountain West Conference. They beat San Diego State, Air Force, Western Kentucky, Eastern Kentucky, Murray State, and Colorado State heading into this game. FIU beats Jacksonville State in the New Orleans Bowl. They advance to 9-3 uh, on the season. Buffalo beats South Carolina State in the Champs Sports Bowl, 38-7. As we take a look at the rest of the bowl games heading into ours. And UTEP beats Ball State after getting absolutely destroyed by VMI. Huge upset loss to them. Let's take a look at that game. Washington, 359 yards passing. Four touchdowns. White for Ball State had eight catches, 161 yards, and three touchdowns. So both of those players did really well. Air Force and Army, another matchup this year. And Air Force pulls away for the win at the end, 37-31. to 31. Air Force finishes 7-5. Army will finish 8-5 with two losses to end the season. So not the way they wanted to finish it out. They could have had double-digit wins. It just wasn't meant to be. Nevada beats up James Madison 41 to 14. Both of those teams finish the year seven and five. James Madison loses two straight to close it out. Jones for Nevada, 326 yards, four touchdown passes. And now, let's get down there to Las Vegas, Nevada, as the Southern Utah Thunderbirds take on the 14th ranked UNLV Rebels. Hey football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. It's time to bundle up because it's going to be a chilly one for tonight's game between the Thunderbirds and the UNLV Rebels. I'm really looking forward to this one as it should be a very exciting bowl game. And here come the Rebels. The Thunderbirds are going to have to play a great football game if they expect to win this one, Kurt. UNLV looks a little overpowering in this one. I think it's all because of their running back. He's a tremendous athlete, and Lee, I think he'll have a big game running behind those big hog mollies up front. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. UNLV will come out on top of this one. <laughs> all right, there you have it. The coach has made his pick. Let's go down to the captains at midfield for today's coin toss. So the experts end up picking UNLV to win this game, and I think they're going to win it as well. Here's a nice catch for Jaquan Freeman, though, as he gets up to the 47-yard line. That is his 26th catch of the season. Gregory pressured, almost sacked. He's going to roll right, throws it up. Turner's there. He's got it all the way down to the 25-yard line. Gregory looking pretty good so far today. And here's his third pass. Left side, Freeman again to the six-yard line. 27 catches now. They go to the ground. Cameron Matthews right up the middle. And Southern Utah takes a very quick lead. Less than two minutes off the clock. And they punch it into the end zone. Cameron Matthews with his 10th touchdown run of the season. They're down 11 for UNLV. Burnett to throw. He's going to be sacked. 
And I believe that is Jericho Stevens. Yes, sir, it is. Stevens now with five sacks on the season, 10 tackles for loss, 31 tackles. He's also got three pass deflections and a fumble recovery. Thunderbirds back on offense. Play action, and Gregory is going to be dropped. That was play action, and there was just so much pressure immediately. Gregory didn't stand a chance. He's going to try to throw it again here. Going out left side. Taking his time. Finds Prince McCutcheon at the 27-yard line. That is Prince McCutcheon's 16th catch this year. Gregory to throw it again. They want him to sling it today. Instead, he's going to take off. He's got the first down up and out of bounds. Gregory to throw it again. Pump fake. Rolls out left side. Chucks it down the middle of the field. Crosby's there inside Rebel territory. Thunderbirds off to a hot start today in the final game for head coach Donald Lee Sr. as he is retiring after this ball game. Gregory escaping. He's going to be sacked way back at the 49-yard line. Nobody got open. He didn't know what to do with it. And the Rebels are now back on offense. Burnett, deep shot, left side. Bryce King and C.J. Moreland are there. And C.J. Moreland gets beat. I feel like I've said that a time or two. Huge play for the Rebels as they are inside the red zone now. Just one long pass. Second down and 10 at the 17. Burnett, the throw. He's going to be sacked. He fumbles the football. It's recovered by Adams, the defensive tackle. And that is Jericho Stevens' second sack of the game. Give him six on the year. And that's his first career force fumble. Man, what a hit. Absolutely obliterated the quarterback. First down to 15 now for the Thunderbirds. He's Brandon Lee up the middle. And he'll pick up maybe 12 or 13 yards. Fourth down and one. They're going to go for it. At the 30-yard line, risky call here. And Brandon Lee's got the first down, it looks like. And they're going to say he was short. Oh, my goodness. It looked like he fell way over the line. But instead, the Rebels get the ball. Great field position. Burnett dropped by the defensive tackle. And that is a 15-yard penalty on Adams. So not a good look after failing to convert on fourth down. They follow it up with a 15-yard penalty. Here's Thomas. Direct snap left side. He's going to go in untouched. That was too easy for the Rebels halfback. My goodness. All tied up at seven. Gregory rolling out left side. He's going to take off. He's going to pick up the first down. About 11-yard carry. Second down and 10. Gregory. Dropping back. Throwing it deep again. He connects with Brandon Lee, the fullback. And that's his 18th catch of the year. Gregory to throw again. Off his back foot. He's picked off by McClellan. And that was not a good pass. He got no air underneath it, and McClellan made him pay for it. Gregory with his 20th interception of the season. And only nine touchdowns. He's had a rough go of it this year. Burnett to throw it again. All day to throw. He's almost picked off by Lee Jr. Oh, my goodness gracious. That should have been a pick. Look at how close this was. Oh, right over his hands. That could have been a huge play for the defense. Second or First down and 10 now. Left side. Price has it back. Jukes a man down to the one yard line. C.J. Moreland face planted on that tackle attempt. Burnett finds McKinney for the go-ahead touchdown here. 14 to 7 with an extra point. And UNLV will have the lead late in the second quarter. A minute to go. They're going to go for it again here. Fourth and two. Gregory rolling out left side. Throws it up. Deflected and caught by Prince McCutcheon. Oh, my goodness. One of the luckiest plays of the season. Gregory to throw again. 55 seconds. Deep shot. Down the middle of the field. McCutcheon is there again inside the 10-yard line. Down at the nine. nine. 18 catches now on the season. Gregory to throw again over the middle, and it's deflected. Almost picked off. That was on third down. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt, and the kick is good. 14 to 10. Thunderbirds closing the gap. Eight seconds left. Rebels are going no huddle. Burnett's going to be dropped for a big loss, and that is Jericho Stevens, his third tackle of the game. All of them for a loss, and has two sacks and a forced fumble, the first of his career. 14 10 at the half. Rebels take over to start the second half. Burnett breaks a tackle, runs a man over. And is dragged down at the 44-yard line. Nice run by the quarterback. 
And the shotgun again. Burnett, play action. Right side, wide open is Porter. Nice corner route. Just beats the linebacker like he stole something. Third down in inches. Two tight ends set the shotgun. The handoff to Thomas, right side. And he gets the first down up to the 22 yard line. He's got 52 yards today and a touchdown. Anderson, the fullback, gets a direct snap. Makes Lee Jr. whiff on the tackle attempt. And that was an easy touchdown for him. 18 yard touchdown scamper for the big fullback. Let's take another look at this missed tackle here. Oh my. Wow. 21 to 10 now as the Thunderbirds look to get back into this game. Gregory. He's done a nice job today, escaping the defenders, and a nice completion to Crosby. He's still going up to the 40-yard line. Gregory has been fantastic on the run today. And he's going to have to run again here. No, he is sacked back at the 49-yard line. The offensive line just continues to let this young man down. Second down and 20. Now third down and 20. Gregory over the middle of the field. McCutcheon again. He's had a big play every drive today. Four catches. 105 yards and a perfect post pattern in between four defenders. Third down and 12 now at the 21-yard line. Gregory to the end zone. McCutcheon's there. He's going to fumble the football at the one-yard line, and it's recovered by UNLV. Oh, my goodness. That's not the first time he's done that this season either, folks. That's a huge mistake from Prince McCutcheon on his fifth catch. Oh, my goodness. He's got to be sick to his stomach. That's the second time. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the first time this happened in a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. And they are going and to chuck it week deep. Nine. See the arm on Gregory. Deep shot. And it's caught. But it's fumbled in the end zone. And recovered by San Diego. Oh, my goodness. Prince McCutcheon loses the football before he crosses the line. And I don't know if I've ever seen a more clutch play than that one right there. So just a crazy <laughs> occurrence, and it happens to one player twice in a season. But the Thunderbirds do get the ball back. Lee, nice catch up inside the 30-yard line. Tack on 15 yards, and they'll have it at the 14th. They're down to five. Gregory rolling out left side again. He's going to take off. Gregory's got the end zone for the score. His fifth touchdown run of the season as the Thunderbirds are clawing their way back in here in the fourth quarter of the Las Vegas Bowl. Both teams looking for their seventh win on the season. And a win for either team means a winning season. Gregory going for two points here. Rolling out right side. He's going to throw it. He's pressured and sacked. So the two-point conversion is a massive failure. And they're down by five with 5.52 remaining in the ballgame. They're down an eight for the Rebels. High snap for Burnett. He will throw it deep over the middle and it's caught by Price and triple coverage. Of course, there was a drop frame, but you'll see it right here on the replay. Perfectly placed pass by Burnett. Second down and eight. Halfback is on fire. Burnett over the middle. Price again. Bryson King can't bring him down. And that is now inside the 20-yard line. Price goes over the 100-yard mark receiving today. Burnett left side. Moreland gets beat again and misses the tackle on Price. And gets called for the face mask. So the trifecta right there. Gets burnt. Misses a tackle. Face mask. Could, can't get any worse for CJ Moreland. Here's an interception for Bryce King off the deflection. He's going to take it out of the end zone. Needs one block and he can't get it. And he's still breaking tackles up past the 20-yard line. Huge pick for the defense. That is Bryce King's third interception this season. He hasn't made a huge impact this year, but that is one of the biggest plays for the Thunderbirds all season long. And a great return as well. He needed maybe one or two more blocks. If somebody blocked that halfback, he might have gone all the way. Gregory back on offense, rolling out right side. And he's going to pull up and throw. And it's caught by Johnson, still going inside the 40, down to the 34-yard line, just what the doctor ordered as they try to take the lead here late in the ball game. Gregory, right side, wide open is Cameron Matthews. He's got the first down. That's his 14th catch of the year. First and 10, Matthews gets the carry up the middle. Juking, breaking tackles, picks up seven or eight yards. Second down and two. Gregory going to roll left side, throws it. Freeman's there. He's got it, and he dives, but doesn't find the pylon. Oh, my goodness. First and goal from the one. Can they get in? 
Gregory rolling out. Throws. He's picked off. Oh, no. Brooks has it. He might go all the way. Matthews is the only one there. He's not going to get him. And that is a pick six, my friends. Oh, my goodness. What a heartbreaker at the one-yard line. Looking like Russell Wilson out here. 100-yard interception return for a touchdown. But they're not giving up yet. Thunderbirds still going deep. McCutcheon with another catch inside the 35-yard line. Having himself a career game, McCutcheon is. And Gregory as well when it comes to yards. He's going to add to it here as he finds Johnson inside the 10. And the Thunderbirds, 432 passing yards today. And they didn't even average 200 on the season. First and goal from the six-yard line. Gregory hot running some receivers. Quick pass, right side, corner of the end zone. Caught by McCutcheon. And they're going to call him out of bounds. So they still can't find the end zone. Third and goal, almost picked off. So many struggles in the red zone. Fourth and goal, Gregory to throw. It's caught, and Crosby can't find the end zone. Oh, my goodness. 28-16, folks. That is going to do it as the Thunderbirds struggled all game to get into the end zone once they reached the red zone. Congratulations to UNLV on their upset victory, according to our Pick'em in the Discord community. Oh, my goodness. 7-5 is their final record of the season. Southern Utah drops to 6-7. Their head coach is retiring. Their middle linebacker is transferring away. And they've already got another transfer coming in for next season. So that's going to be interesting as we lose both of the Donalds. But a great win for UNLV. A very sloppy game for Southern Utah. Owen Gregory had the best game of his career throwing the football. 435 passing yards, I believe, for the Thunderbirds. That gets him well over 2,000 passing yards on the season, but he didn't find the end zone. He couldn't find an open receiver in the end zone. And if you go back and watch those plays in slow motion, nobody was really open. So it was really difficult for Gregory. But 21 of 34, 435 yards today, two picks. So he's going to finish with nine touchdowns and 21 interceptions. But uh, hats off to you, young man. Best game of your career. You had a rushing touchdown as well. That gives you five on the season. McCutcheon, seven catches, 164 yards. He came into the game with 15 catches, 371 yards. And he fumbled the football at the one-yard line twice in one season. Oh, my goodness. Bunch of craziness, I say. Sherman led the team in tackles with six. Stevens had four tackles, three for a loss, and two sacks, I believe. C.J. Moreland was, uh, you know, beat like a redheaded stepchild today, like always. I'm hoping for drastic improvements in his sophomore season. If not, he might get relegated to the nickel cornerback spot, but behind two freshmen, because he, he's just been bad, guys. That's it. Owen Gregory, Jericho Stevens, Prince McCutcheon, players of the game for Southern Utah. Brooks, Thomas, Warren for UNLV. That is it for this game. I will see you guys in about an hour. Well, at 8 o'clock, we will see the Northern Colorado Bears as they take on the 15th-ranked San Diego State Aztecs. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.